Okay, here we have a basic HTML page that has your major tags that you need in an HTML document. That is the head tag, title tag, body tag, and of course that's all enclosed in the HTML tag. And this is the home page because you see the, the file name up here is index.htm. That little asterisk in front of the word index means there has been some changes done to the coding since the last save. So it's kind of like a visual cue letting you know, hey, um, you made some changes to me. I need to be saved. So if you don't save them, you lose them. Okay, I have added in a P tag because I want to just put a little bit of um, code in here. So I'm going to put a um, heading for my page. Actually, I'm going to change that P tag to an H two tag so it's bigger but it's not giant size so I'm going to say welcome to my furry family and close my head tag okay. and I want to create a paragraph tag and I'm going to make my navigation there so I want to align the paragraph in the center actually so I'm going to add an attribute called align equals center. Okay, and I'm going to put my first pet, which is blue. And I'm going to use a key on the keyboard, which is called the pipe sign. It's shift in the slash key. The slash key is right above the enter key on the alphabetic portion of your alphanumeric keypad. I'm going to put my second dog, which is Rocky. I'm going to do the pipe sign again, and my last dog, which is Squirt. And I'm going to close my P tag. And in another paragraph, I'm going to just put a little bit of text to appear on the page. Welcome to this site about the crazy furry family at my house and I'm going to provide some instructions for the user click on a link above to see a picture and bio of each pack and then I'm going to close my paragraph tag so I'm going to go ahead and save the changes that I have made at this point and I'm going to bring up my um, Google window. I'm going to do control O to open and I'm going to navigate out to my folder and I'm going to open blue. Welcome to my furry family. And I did not do something in my coding right because it's not displaying the rest of my uh, text here. So let's go back and debug a little bit. I'm going to bring back my index page, and it's probably this align tag, and I forgot to enclose the uh, ending quotes. So let's try this again. I'm going to save. I'm going to switch back. I'm going to hit F5 to refresh. And there's my navigation that I will set up in a little bit, blue, rocky, and squirt. This is welcome to the site about the crazy furry family at my house. Click on a link above. To see a picture and a bio of each pet. Okay, so it's doing what I told it to do so far. So I'm going to go ahead uh, and switch pages and I'm going to bring up blue first. Let me just bring this into the recording window. Okay, so I have my page open called blue. I need to change the title tag. I neglected to do that on the index page, so I'm just going to say blue Ross's page and this is where the new stuff comes in this is the image tag that will display an image on a web page the tag is IMG for image the attribute is SRC for source remember we assign uh, values to attributes with the equal sign they go inside a double quote and if you think back to our file management you remember that we had to go 
inside the images folder. We're currently on the blue page. We have to go inside the images folder to find these pictures. So we need to include that in our path here. So we're going to go in images and then slash in the name of the file, which is blue.jpg. <coughs> And it's not required that you close your image tag, but for good practice, you want to do that. So let's uh, save, bring up our Google window, and Control O to open the blue page. And there she is, it's a pretty big picture. So we might not want to have uh, that big a picture, but isn't she a pretty kitty? She's my little kitty girl. So let's go back to the HTML page for blue. We're going to add some additional attributes. Um, we're going to add a height or a width tag. I'm going to do width. It should automatically adjust the height for me. I'm going to say width is going to be equal to 300. Let's say, let's see if I actually don't remember if it's going to do the height automatically or not because I usually um, will do this sort of thing in an HTML editor. But let's just find out together. F5, yep, sure did. F5, and there's my blue. Now, the only problem is on this page, we don't have our navigation to go back and forth between each of these pages. So the easiest thing to do is going to be to set up the navigation uh, on our index tab or on our index page which we have here so I'm going to just copy and paste that to my blue page okay we're going to put that at the top above the picture of blue, so I'm going to paste it. Now these are just the words still. We don't have the navigation set up. The purpose of this video here is to show you how to insert images. I'll do a third video to show you how to do the hyperlinks. So we're going to just save okay. and we can preview our little blue, key blue page. There are our hyperlinks. Okay, and we're going to do this for each of the pages that we have. So we're going to go to Rocky Next. Okay, and I'm going to put my navigation in, the navigation line, rather. And I'm going to put the image for Rocky. And I know the name is Rocky.jpg. I named these specifically so they were easy to remember. But remember, we got to go in the Images folder do rocky.jpg and we're going to set his width equal to about the same thing we did for blue now i'm not having good luck with typing today ah see and close my image tag and let's see what we have in our browser for rocky's page control o to open we're going to open up Rocky, and there he is, my beautiful baby boy, my Siberian Husky. Okay, and we have one more to do, which is for my little boy Squirt. And in case you're wondering how my dog possibly got the name Squirt. When I was just a little girl, my daddy used to tell me stories about a dog named Squirt. My daddy's passed on, so in his honor, I named my dog Squirt. Okay, so once again, I'm going to paste my line where I'm going to set up navigation and I'm going to put in my image for squirt inside the images folder and make sure that the width and the height adjust okay. and let's save it and preview little squirts page. Control O to open. Let's see little squirts page. And there he is. Here's my little boy. And my navigation. Okay, so we have that 
on three pages, images on all pages. I neglected to update the page title on each page, but just make sure you know to update this page um, with what you want to appear in the title bar. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to previewing my home page, control O, bring up index, and in the very next video, we're going to see how to set up these hyperlinks. So I hope this made sense to you, and thank you. See you in the next video.